Hello everyone, welcome to Risk Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about multiple ways of filtering data in Pandas. So let's start. So we have this file, if go, and uh, I have different sheets in this file. So I'm going to use this one, store one. So now let me take the path of this file. So this is the file location. I'm copying this. Okay, let me move into the Jupyter. Now let me choose the library pandas. Is ready. And after that, I can take one variable and go by the file location. I need to put double slash here and uh, let me take the file name. So file name is this one, it's two. It's two dot x l f x. Okay. Okay. Now let me read the file. So pd dot read excel. And I'm using this variable so I can pass this variable here to read the file. Now, let me execute this. So, see, we can see the data of this file. So, by default, we will see the data of first file, but if I need to see the data of different sheet, so I can pass here sheet name value. Let's say if I need to see the second sheet for store two, so it will start from zero. So zero one, I can pass one here, and I will see the second sheet data. See, okay. So now let me remove this because we are working on this sheet only. Okay. Now I'm talking about the how we can filter the data in Pandas in different ways. So let's talk about the first way. DF. I can pass, I can create one more variable and pass value here. So now I have this table assigned into the DF variable. If I put df so i will be able to see the whole data field now let me do operation on this df variable so i am filtering the data so let's see df so df is my data frame and after that i am taking one column so df dot let's say i want to see the canada data country equals to equals to canada Okay. Yeah, not. Now let me run this. So see, now we are able to see the Canada data. Okay. So we are also going to see the logical operators here, like and or operators. So let's say if I want to see the data of Mexico as well. So what I will do, I can put this here into the bracket and i can put condition or so for all we use single pipe and i can simply use this df country again and this time we can pass mexico value okay so see i am able to see canada as well as mexico okay so let's say if you need to see segment, like if you need to put condition based on two columns, so that also we can do. So for that, what we can do, we can put an end here. And uh, let's say I want to see the data for country Canada and let's say government. So I can put government here. And 
Instead of point three, this is segment column. So I can use segment. Now let me run this. So see, I have this one value and I'm able to see. Okay, this is the first way of filtering. So if you need to use single, you can use single column. And if you use if you need to use multiple columns, so you can you know use this uh bracket and then put different condition using logical operator like and or all based on the request. Now let's take another way to filtering the data. So what we can do, we can simply write df df dot query and under query i have this single quotes where i need to pass the value so let's say i want to see the country canada again so i can use country column and then equals to equals to and after that i need to pass value in the double quotes canada so in this case i'm passing canada so now if i run this it will be executed so see i'm able to see the data of Canada. Okay. Now let's see if I need to see multiple. So what I will do, I can simply use all condition and I can pass the value country equals to max. Okay, so this whole statement will be come under the single quotes and whatever the value we will provide that will come under the double quotes and column for, for column we don't need to put any quotes. Okay, similarly you can use and as well. Let's say and you can you want to pass segment different column so we can do that as well segment equals cover so see i have the similar okay so this is the second way now let me tell the third third way okay so let me run df first okay so for third day first i need to let value so let's say i'm taking one variable name and i'm passing name equals to let's say canada i want to see the data of canada and now what i will do i will use this df and after that df dot country and dot is in so this is the another way we will use agent and then after that we will pass this variable yeah. okay so you can see we are passing canada value here and we are using country filter and if country is in name we are passing this variable so it will return the canada value see okay and uh, like this you can pass multiple value let's say you want to pass mexico as well so let's say i can say name one and then let's say mexico and after that i can use all condition here and similarly df dot country as in and this is the name one, so I can pass name one. So see, I have both of the country. Okay, similarly, I, I can pass another uh, thing. Let's say if I need to pass the uh, segment instead of country. So let's say I want to pass this government. So I can simply put government here and uh, I can use end condition here. Okay. And after that, 
instead of country because uh, this in naman i'm not passing country i'm passing segment so government value is coming from the segment column so i can use segment here let me use segment and now let me run this. so see i have similar value of all three ways so these are all the ways in which you can uh, filter the data so you know as per your comfortness or whatever you feel simple you can use and then filter the data so i hope guys this video is helpful for you thank you everyone